Well guys, I'm here to tell you that there has been a shift. No well guys, there has been a shift. And I'm not talking about the tectonic plates. That's right, I'm talking about the real estate market here in Central Texas. Let's start by talking about what's been happening. Well, if you've been tapped into the real estate market, you know that we've been experiencing multiple offers, copious amounts of money over asking, and overall craziness. So what's gonna happen now? Well, interest rates are rising and they will continue to. And that has spooked a lot of buyers. Buyers who made offer after offer after offer and watched the interest rates rise have decided to put a pin in it and wait for a market that's a little bit less insane. Some sellers were waiting and waiting until the market reached its peak to sell. And I think some may have waited a little too long. So for all you sellers, how does this affect you? Well, you're gonna wanna pay close attention to those comparable sold properties around your neighborhood. Up until recently, you could have just slapped a price tag on that thing and fed it to the wolves. With more inventory on the market and hanging out on the market, buyers have more to choose from and you're gonna want your house to look its best and be the best that it can be so that you can net the most for your home. Those buyers that were flooding our market that were paying $100,000, $200,000 over the asking price have gone away. And I don't know if they're coming back, but they're not here right now. So now for those buyers, what is it gonna look like for you guys? Take a deep breath, because we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Not only are there more homes on the market, but we are seeing price reductions. We are seeing houses stay on the market for more than a month. That tells me that there are less buyers out there doing crazy things like offering $100,000 over. That creates more opportunities for you to get the home you want. Not only are there more resale homes, but new construction is also seeing a shift. Up until now, they have been doing bidding wars and wait lists and all sorts of shenanigans. But as of now, more and more builders are deciding to go back to the first come first serve process where you can just waltz right in, put a deposit down and buy the home of your dreams. One thing to note is that new construction builders are for the majority building inventory homes, which are homes that are further along in the building process. And what that looks like is that a buyer that once could have come in and made lots of customizations, add a porch, take away a bathroom, this and that. But now you're more limited in the changes that you can make with your home. It might even be a good thing because it discourages buyers from making wacky decisions like putting a clawfoot bathtub in the middle of the upstairs loft area. One tip for you buyers is that try to change your mindset to think more like an investor. Just because everybody's deciding not to buy a house right now because interest rates are rising, it might be the window of opportunity that you needed to get in and get the house that you want. But Liberty, what about the interest rates? Aren't you insane? Well, think about these two things. Interest rates historically have been way higher. Just go talk to your parents, your grandparents, and I bet you they will scare your socks off. Five and a quarter interest rate is gonna seem a lot better than 12, 16. Devil's advocate though, prices were significantly lower then. Instead of focusing on the interest rates and how high they are, get with your lender to discuss what monthly payment you're comfortable with. Put your focus on what that is then they'll be able to provide the sales price that you should be shopping within so that you're comfortable and living within your means. Well, remember all those investors that were buying the homes for 100 and 200,000 over asking? Well, now those investors are going to be hiking up the rent prices to cover their mortgage and cover their investment. So that is causing rents to go up. That also coupled with the appraised values that were released this spring. Central Texas saw in some cases 60% increase and that is making investors that don't have a homestead exemption raise the rent. So how long is this gonna last? 
I have my fingers crossed for a nice relaxed market from here on out, but I won't hold my breath. I mean, it's been like a wild hurricane of a ride. Like just, it's like a, you're holding on to a lifeboat in the, in the scene of the perfect storm. I think that more people are moving to Texas and it's only a matter of time before they start being comfortable and okay with the interest rates. And when they do, they're gonna be flocking back to those homes. So it's important for you guys to consider what you wanna do and make a move. So good luck out there and go get yourself a house or sell it. <laughs>